Hello guys, this is going to be my six month review of the Phantom Pro, uh, Phantom 3 Pro, and this is also going to be my review of the Phantom Hardshell Backpack. I got this after I had purchased my Pelican case that I got for my Phantom with the pull and pluck foam. I have found that that case is a little on the big side and it's a little hard to carry doing certain jobs and to carry every day. It's a little bulky and it's a little overkill. It is a great case if you're going to check your Phantom on an airplane or on a ship or anything like that where the bag is going to be thrown around a bit. The Pelican case is a very good case. Um, or excuse me, uh, the Seahorse case is the one I have. Pelican I have for my Bebop. The Seahorse case is a very good case for that. It has the latches down. Uh, spaces for the TSA locks and everything and it works really well for that however for hiking um, biking and all of that kind of stuff everyday use going back and forth to the job sites and stuff like that it's just overkill it's heavy and it takes up too much space so I wound up purchasing this which I'm going to show you this show you how everything fits in there uh, show you a little trick that I found for the iPad and my shade sunshade for the iPad to fit in there and see uh, and give a little bit of update on how I'm feeling with the Pyre, uh, with the Phantom um, as far as flying it and using it and my overall impressions after six months so let's get started with that uh, first thing here is it's a hard shell case when you're opening up this is the bottom of it uh, when you put it on <clears throat> it's very well padded it's very comfortable to wear even if you were going on a hike or something like that works very well, uh, very well made, very well put together. A bunch of people have said that already. They took their time when they did this. And to me, they did it the right way. So when you open it up, you're gonna lay it down like this here. You got the zippers, very simple. You unzip it. Now, when you lift it up, you know, you have your foam in this. What I do when I'm carrying my iPad and my sunshade if you pull up this and hold down the foam, you can actually put your iPad in here. It's padded a little bit in here. You got the foam here that protects it. And you can fit your iPad, which I use the iPad Air 2. And then I have my sunshade that folds out for the fan. And it fits in there fine, and that way you can carry everything. Because there is no cutout in here for that will fit an iPad Air 2 unless you make it you know you cut it open more and I didn't want to mess with the inside it fits everything really well you have this strap here that keeps everything nice and secure you have room for three batteries plus one in the Phantom I don't put any in my Phantom I try not to leave them in I'm good with just three batteries uh, if I needed more I would actually put it in there but I don't really need it so I'm good with just that you have room for other little things I have my lens cleaner uh, torch screwdriver set um, these here these are my ND filters. Right now I have the little tiny ones that you unscrew the, um, the UV filter and you put these in and screw it back on. They're not the best. I'm actually working on upgrading to the DJI ones. I like the ones that fit exactly for it. So I'm working on going up to those, but like everything, it's money, it takes time. So I'm working on getting those slowly. I have one ordered and I'll be going one at a time with those since I do have these and they work fine. I uh, just want the other ones because they're a little bit better quality and it's a, these are a little bit of a pain to get out of the UV filter when you take it off. You have room for the other your other cable that comes with it here. Take the Phantom out. There is foam in here that holds the camera steady which is actually really good. Um, you have room for all your props. I keep the ones that I have not opened in here and then I have the ones that I use on top plus the little extra bag that they give you with the spare parts and the tools that all fits in here I'm charging my third battery right now but there's a spot here to charger fits in perfectly on this side and then of course space for your remote the cable I use the shortened cable for the lightning for my iPad um, everything fits in there really nice now on the remote if you're going to use if you're just using your iPhone for it, 
it's fine the way that it comes. What I did and a lot of people have done, and I've seen now they have just the bracket, but I went and bought the whole piece. Um, this here is off of the Inspire. So it has the aluminum arm here and then the tablet holder. And you put this one on, you take off the one that comes with the Phantom, you put the Inspire one on, and the tablet doesn't move. It's very secure. I was always afraid that it was going to come out the way that it was before. This one stays very secure. It does not move. As you can see, you can't even really bend it at all. And I even have it loose right now. There, like that, it doesn't move. So that is my, one of the upgrades I did, and it's. I think that's one of the best upgrades. That in this case, um, the case is, like I said, a pleasure to use other than uh, than the seahorse case that I have because that's just too big. My overall impressions of this is I actually, I absolutely love the Phantom 3 Pro. It has not given me any trouble. I've done all the updates. I uh, haven't had any issues with this at all. No flyaways. <clears throat> nothing like that I had issues with the bebop when I had that one I still like the bebop I am actually considering purchasing another one if I get it on a really good deal without the sky controller <clears throat> excuse me with the sky controller it comes to a bigger package to carry than this and I don't see the advantage at all um, the only advantage that it has over this is that the Bebop itself is smaller and people will tend to ignore it more if you have people that are concerned about the drone issue. Um, you know, this looks like what everyone is advertising a drone to be. The Bebop looks like a toy helicopter. So that, that's one of the things there. But other than that, this, this package here is compact, small, lightweight. Um, this backpack weighs next to nothing. So it's definitely worth it. If you haven't gotten a case yet, I would definitely look into the DJI um, case, the backpack, the hard shell backpack. This is, I picked this up for $149 <clears throat> for the case and I paid more than that for the Pelican with the pull and plug foam. Plus I had to pluck it out and design my own layout for it. It's nice because you can fit more batteries and some more stuff in there, but it weighs a lot more and it's a lot less portable. This works a lot better. Um, other than that, basically, like I said, I've been using it. I fly at least three or four times a week. It doesn't give me any headache. Uh, I just picked up my third battery. That's going to help out a lot with my flying because after two batteries, you know, you're kind of either charging it up in the field or you still going to have to wait. So you can't do constant. Even with three, I can't really constantly fly the whole time, but I typically don't. Most of my flights are right around 10 to 15 minutes. For what I use this for most of the time. Um, there's certain things that I do fly for more longer times, but most of it is 10 to 15 minute flights for the most most part. Other than that, um, I've really enjoyed it. I like it a lot. Um, this year has helped with what I do for work and stuff. I've gotten some really good pictures on it. I'm really getting used to the settings on it and I'm working on that more. If you have any questions about the case, about the Phantom, even about the Bebop, if you're interested in getting one and you just want some advice from someone who has had one, by no means an expert, uh, there's people that fly a lot more than me and frankly are a lot more talented than me when it comes to this. However, I have found this is very easy to fly. Make sure that you read the manuals and do your research and practice with it. Also practice in the the ATI mode so that if you happen to lose GPS you're able to switch that out and fly it. I've actually gotten pretty good at flying it with that so I don't have any issues at all. I'm not afraid if it loses GPS I'll be able to bring it back. I'm not one of these people that go and fly it a mile out away from me. I keep it within my line of sight. I keep it close to me. I don't need to go that far. That's not the type of stuff that I'm trying to do with it. I'm really using it for the photography sense and getting good video and good pictures out of it. So, but if you guys have any questions on the case, on the on the, the Phantom 3, on the Bebop, on anything like that, please leave me a comment down below, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, like I said, I've been extremely happy with this with this product. It has been nothing but a dream to use. Uh, the only other thing I noticed, I don't have them. I keep checking before every flight. I check my the little holes here, 
and I have not received any of those stress cracks that people are complaining about. What I did do when I first got the Phantom is I actually did use um, the safety guards and that entailed taking out the screws here and then when I screwed them back down I didn't over torque them and I also backed these two little screws here off as well and I just backed them off about a quarter half turn and they're still snug they're not loose or anything they're not falling out but I don't have any cracks either I think some of them might have been over tightened from factory that's just my opinion I've seen a couple people say the same thing not really sure but I haven't had any issues with that so like I said any questions leave me a comment below and we'll see you later you guys have a good day